So here the, the narrow connect. So you with the Vero apparatus, what is that? Um, it's essentially a group of uh, seven of us, eight of us at the moment, um, who set up a small company with the aim of producing an ARM V8 powered laptop. The reason we set up a company is because most of the SOC vendors expect to deal with a corporate entity. Um, so uh, we, we, we ended up with this so they can serve um, non-disclosure agreements and bits and pieces. So, so you want to do arm powered uh, basically like this, right? You want to do uh, a good keyboard, good mouse, and good display, but also performing very high performance ARM processor, right? Well, yeah, I mean, I want something to be, um, I'd say, your day-to-day -day work machine. Um, we're not interested in having a mobile device. We're looking at something that really is a replacement for your day-to-day -day desktop. Um, now, the initial concept is we're not going to be able to produce absolutely everything, so we're going to take probably something like an X220, so an old, an old Lenovo laptop. So This is an X220? Uh, this is an X201, actually. It's, uh, it's, so it's slightly older. No, no, about the, about the same size, same just, size? A, uh, just, just a slightly newer model. So you're going to buy some used ones and, and buy the used ones. take the PCBs out? Yep. Uh, well, just take out the motherboard. Take out the motherboard. We, so we leave the screen. We leave all the uh, leave leave all the uh, peripherals in place, and, and we want to use them. So, so what do you do? So, who are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve. Um, I'm one of one of the Vero guys as well, as well as being an ARM employee and a Lenovo engineer. Um, so, I'm one of the team. Um, we got, I'm going to be working, helping to do the software for, for the laptop. Um, as Andy says, we're looking to make a proper workstation out of these things, just like in one of the existing ThinkPads that we all carry day to day. Um, we want to be able to actually replace that with something powered by ARM, because hey, that's what we're all passionately working on every day. We want to be able to use that ourselves, you know, it's a dog food exercise. So around here in this room, uh, there's some, uh, uh, some pretty powerful stuff. So if we look uh, over here, we're going to check it out. Yeah. There's, uh, Here's the Cavium Thunder X, 48 core, 64 bit. It'd be pretty nice if it could fit, right? 48 cores and a laptop might be a bit more than we can deal with thermally, but we'd love to try. <laughs> You'd love to try it. What do you think you're going to get? What kind of a thing do you aim for? Something, well, primarily it needs to have uh, a, a reasonable memory bandwidth. Um, the mobile devices, yeah, a bit, a bit too small. Must have V8, absolutely must have V8, so we can have sufficient memory footprint to, to build large applications. To have lots um, of RAM also? That's exactly. yeah, like, uh, enough like RAM. 8 GB, what do you think? Um, well, my ThinkPad has 16 gig today. I 16 gig? Yeah. What, so we should, we, we should be at least that. At, that. Yeah. at least 16 gig? At least 16 gig of that. So you t you're talking about uh, right now with Linaro Connect, a bunch of ARM Linux guys. Yep. It'd be good if a bunch of them had ARM laptops, right, for Absolutely. their work? Um, exactly. I mean, this is our, absolutely our target audience. I suspect if we were able to turn up with a laptop and say, right, who wants one? I, yeah, I don't think price would be the major issue. I think it would be, um, can we deliver them faster? I've spoken to a number of the guys around here, say some of the ARM guys I work with, some of the other Lenovo engineers, and we've asked them, what would you say to, you know, to a decent ARM V8 uh, powerful laptop? And quite a number of them have already said, um, where, where can I give you money? It's, it, it, they're that interested. How much money do they have That's to give you? That's the thing we don't know. But uh, um, so, so what's your background? So I'm a hardware engineer. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to be the person putting the PCBs together. In UK? Uh, uh, all based in the UK, yes. So Everybody's just, in Cambridge? Um, in and around Cambridge at the moment, although it, you know, we, we announced this at uh, DevConf uh, in Portland uh, last year. Um, so we're having offers of support and help. Realistically, until we've got a working prototype board, until we've actually got a final agreement with uh, one of the chip vendors, we're not going to go anywhere. But as soon as we've got that, then yes, we can stop putting a PCB together. Um, we're going to have to implement um, bits that are not here. The sort of chips we're looking at um, are designed for servers. So they don't have USB, they don't have video, they don't they don't have all the integrated things that um, your laptop um, chipset will have. So we're just going to attempt to um, re-implement that, probably over uh, PCI Express, um, which they will have, so we'll have to add a, 
you know, USB ecosystem. There's a good chance, I would expect this year, for some very powerful ARM processor to be designed for laptops specifically. That, I think they should be, we should be at that time, no? Uh, I mean, let's, we, let's face it, if, if somebody had this laptop or a powerful enough mach machine on a laptop today, we wouldn't be doing this, we'd be going and buying that. And until that, until that arrives on the market, I guess we're going to have to do it ourselves. So you said the eight, eight guys, eight, the eight people, yeah. oh, you, do you have uh, the talents required to get this done? We've got everything from yeah, the very low level hardware, uh, we've got people working on UEFI and possibly a completely open secure boot, all the way up through to kernel guys. So, yeah. We've and then we've got people with distro experience, we've got people with experience of doing uh, device testing and all that kind of thing. We, know, we, we think we have all the skills needed, it's just purely a case of going and finding appropriate hardware and making things work. So when you have the SOC and somebody says OK, mm -hmm. how long time do you need to get it uh, out and uh, how many are you going to ship, do you think? How long what, is a piece of string? Assuming, assuming, every, okay, assuming everything works, we're expecting to go through one or two spins of PCB to start off with. We probably won't even try and fit into the laptop form factor for our first board. Um, once we've got that board, we will learn. We'll, we'll learn from our mistakes, but that will be one spin. Hopefully, the second iteration of PCBs will be enough to feed um, the immediate. Um, developer base so maybe we build 10 20 units because by then I, I would expect VA will have grown to sort of 20 odd people do you need investors not yet no not yet maybe later at, at the 20 when we've all got everything running but the then when we start, maybe then that's the point when, when we'll we start trying efforts. to get them into a laptop form factor is the point when we expect that we're going to get more people going <laughs> wanting to, to work with us and starting to give us money and fingers crossed That'll be where we get to. So soon. you need to be able to compile the kernel faster than in the how, how fast and stuff like that. Is it called compiling? Uh, the, the the developers need to do stuff fast, well, like how fast? Faster than the fastest Intel? Um, we're, we're not just going. To, we're not going to try and compete just on out, out and out speed. That's. Th those are numbers that we know people can always throw bigger things at us. What we want to be able to use is have these comparable with the workstations and the, the fast laptops that people are using today. Core i7 stuff. That, absolutely, that's the kind of thing we're looking for. If we can, ma if we can match that with ARM powered so people are doing native development for their day-to-day -day ARM stuff, we've won. That's exactly what we want to do. And then all the our engineers will be dog fooding ARM. Yeah. Uh, They'll be actually we, using that for everything. We hope so, yeah. That's exactly what our plan is. I mean, the key is to be able to compile native your own application. Um, at the moment, much of that is done cross-compilation. Um, yeah, each of our dog food. <laughs>